and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys should be doing with your coins right now in Madden 20. Now, guys, we have quite a few things coming, quite a few things have come already, and what should you be spending your coins on, since there's kind of a lot of things to be buying right now. So, you know, we got Ultimate Legends concurrently coming out every week on a Saturday, which is probably always tempting to buy the newest ones, but you guys have to resist that urge. I've gotten over that urge, you know, that urge of every Saturday. Oh, look, new best player in the game. Must buy. A week later, lose coins. A week after that, sell for new best player in the game. Guys, it's literally a bad habit. It's like old piece of candy. It's literally the same thing. Like Saturday, Walter Jones, best left tackle. A few Saturdays later, oh, Joe Thomas. Now, that one's a little bit better, right? I did Walter Jones, but that's because there's a bigger gap. The worst thing is when it's like week after week, you want the new card, and all you do is spend a million to buy a card this good. A week later, the card's this good. Spend, sell it again for half the coins, buy it again. It's a bad habit, guys. We need to we need to avoid that because there's some better stuff you can be doing with that. Now, Ultimate Legends, guys, personally, what I'm doing with that is I take what I want here and there, but I don't pick up everyone because not all of them are going to be end game. Most are, but not all. And then we also have free agency still dropping in our faces right at this exact moment. And golden ticket's a big thing here, guys. A golden ticket is life-changing. Not everyone can have a golden ticket. And when you do, it's going to be game-breaking at a better position to get them at. Because they're going to have the most abilities on the field. They're going to be overpowered. They're going to have crazy stats. They're going to be the most well-rounded cards in Madden. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're into the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on your boys. Come join the family. Make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions or anything else you think you should be doing. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Every like always helps. And here's the thing when it comes to all these new stuff coming out. Now, as far as the free agency promo goes, a lot of you guys might be thinking you should be picking those guys up. Now, the first round, I actually avoided. I'm waiting for the next round of free agents to see if there's anything better that ends up dropping, because for the most part, the first round of every promo always gives you guys like teasers that you're like, ah, I wanna pick those guys up, they're a pretty good price. And the second round always introduces some LTDs and some pretty banger stuff that you might want even over that. Now guys, in my opinion, if you guys are spending coins right now, hold up, is that a snipe? No. If you guys are spending coins right now, definitely be looking in the 98 range. There's some pretty good deals here. Like Joe Thomas, not gonna lie. If you guys want to buy a Joe, like if it's end game, guys, I'll never go against it. If you want to buy Joe Thomas 98, snipe him out for a little bit cheaper. Maybe wait till next Saturday, pick him up. He's gonna be end game. Set him and forget him. No problem with that. What I have an issue with is maybe like a Jadavion Clowney. I would not pick up Jadavion Clowney unless it's for a theme team. Because on a theme team, fine by all means, it's a good idea. Because he can play on any team. I'm pretty sure as a free agent player. Now the issue with uh, Jadavion Clowney is he's pretty much just gonna be a worse version of Lawrence Taylor when Lawrence Taylor does come out. Which is why I think it's bait. Like, this is the kind of card, like, ooh, best right outside linebacker. A week later, Lawrence Taylor. Outside linebacker until August. Like, that's the kind of thing you want to be looking out for, especially now, because that's a 326,000, right? You power him up, get him all the way up so you can get him on your favorite team. A week later, Lawrence Taylor comes out, I have to go power him up now. Lose a lot of coins, lose a lot of training. Not worth it, in my opinion. Guys like Joe Thomas, definitely worth it. Joe Thune, by all means, if you want him. Good price and game left guard. The run block is a little bit on the lower side, but he's still 98 overall. You will get him to 99. Fully powered up, so you can do what you want there. Me and Joe Green and game defensive tackle. Like, guys, that's what I'm saying. If it's 98, if it's 98 overalls, by all means, go ahead and buy away for the most part because those guys, pretty decent value right now, as well as all of them powered up will have a 99 gold and they will be able to max out on your team to whatever you want them to be. But I would not be going all in just yet. Like, what I'm saying is if you have the money to do so, like, for me, I'm not buying these cards because if I spend, if I buy two of them, I'm broke again. I gotta go spend, I obviously have more coins in my binder, but for the time being, what I got, I wanna save for golden tickets. Now, here's the thing. I did do a video ranking all the golden tickets today, so I recommend you go check that out at some point so you guys can go see exactly what my thought process is behind golden tickets. But considering all the golden ticket confirmations, there's plenty of guys that I want. Now, here's what I mean by game breaking guys you wanna save coins for. And the way you're gonna build coins, I'll go over in just a second, but save coins for one of the quarterbacks. In my opinion, guys, if you can get your hands on a golden ticket quarterback, you will have a versatile athlete that can not just run, but he can pass he can he can run he can pass he can juke he can probably even catch and kick like that's how good these cars are gonna be think about it this way if you could take Mahomes right and give him athleticism and an extra if you can take Mahomes give him a 90 plus speed and give him juking abilities and give him four ability slots guys what, what would happen like this Mahomes is already overpowered the only thing he's missing is some speed and an extra ability slot this the, one of these golden ticket quarterbacks such as RG3 Michael Vick Josh Allen Cam Newton one of them will be able to probably get potentially human joystick one of them will be able to possibly get gunslinger together with escape artist with dashing dead eye with with with, with human joystick or evasive like it's gonna be that glitchy that that quarterback could literally juke out anyone stop and go anyone throw past anyone throw 80 yards like these quarterbacks can have 99 throw power 
which already having 99 throw power, such as Mahomes, gives you guys a big advantage. Plus ac accuracy and speed, guys. How are you going to cover this guy? You blitz him, he throws 80 yards. You blitz him, he runs away from you. You play back, he runs up the middle of the field. You play soft, like, there's really nothing you do. He takes you on with an evasive. It's just going to be so overpowered, guys. I recommend you save coins for at least one of the golden ticket quarterbacks. You don't have to power him up. You just pick him up, set it, and forget it. That's your quarterback for the rest of Madden. It'll be that simple, guys. Not all of them, I think, are necessary. I think the quarterbacks, though, you definitely want to get at least one. And remember, they do take your ability slots. So that's why I'm saving it for a quarterback, because I'm always going to have my quarterback ha uh, chemed up and with abilities anyways. Now, how are you going to build these coins, and how are you going to be efficient right now in this time to get for those golden tickets? Guys, we just got a new series update. If there was ever a better time to get coins and build your team, it was now. First off, guys, go ahead and start your level up grind. Just get to level 100 as quickly as possible. I'm about to start mine. A little behind. Mutt level. Just going from level 91 all the way up. Ultimate Legend Pack. Players. Unlock uh, challenges. 50k coins. 90 free over... Free 90 to player. Another legend. Ultimate Legend free fantasy pack. Challenges. A 99 free player. So pretty much getting a free 99 overall. 398 overall, two ultimate legend fantasy packs, 50,000 coins for free, Tory Holt up to a 99, and Pat Tillman potentially if you've gotten that done. But look at that, you just built a quarter of your team or like a tenth of your team right there, just free 99, free 98. Don't buy the 99, 98 right now. Just use whatever one you want, use your power pass. Wait a little bit, and by the time it's time for golden tickets, you have coins for your golden ticket, and then you can take the power pass off and buy the card you had because he's probably half the price now. That's what I always do, guys. If you only want 198 overall right now, don't buy him. Use your power pass on him because then, by the time you're ready to buy him and like, okay, fine, I have enough coins. He's probably less now. So that's what I do on cards I know will drop. Let's say they just dropped um, quarterback with Michael Vick and he's 700K. I know that card will probably be in a few weeks, like a 400K card, but everyone's hyping him up right now. Use the power pass to them, enjoy him, take him off in a few weeks, and buy him when he's at his base price. So that is why I would recommend you preserve coins right now because golden tickets are going to be expensive. They're going to be at least 2 million coins. The good with the best ones, right? Quarterbacks. Now, if they get glitched, there's a high pull rate maybe or people are pulling them like crazy. Everyone comes out of hiding for packs. Potentially, it could be cheaper, but I think I think it's going to be like 2 million coins for one of the quarterbacks, but it's, it's it might be worth it. Not No joke. It might be worth it with the things that quarterback can do. Abilities are overpowered, and there are certain abilities change the way your quarterback plays, and if you could do everything on one quarterback, it's going to be like a robot. I think it's going to be that glitchy. And again, some of them might be even cheaper, so maybe if you get lucky, a guy like Zach Gentry might only be like 700k because people don't really want him as much because he's not a name brand. Scoop him up. Be efficient with him. Do I want him? No, but that's because... I'm not going to be efficient about it, but that's only because I'm going to have a lot of coins and I want, I want, I want, I want the quarterback, but for people that don't budget, you have to always worry about efficiency first. So in my opinion, guys, level up grind can easily get you a few hundred thousand coins, some free players. And guys, also don't be neglecting your journey and your gauntlet or especially your gauntlet right now. Go get your gauntlet done. Get you another free 96. You can easily like right now, instead of spending your coins, worry about building your team up, get your team ready and then save those coins. Build it up in the level of grind. Go ahead, get the golden ticket players. And guys, as far as free agency goes, there will be a part two coming. I'm hoping probably this Wednesday, which will be a week. It would be the be Monday or Wednesday probably. And then probably a Tom Brady, probably some LTs. Gonna be plenty of stuff. That's why I'm waiting out for more of this stuff because the first week of free agency isn't gonna be great. Obviously, it's, it's gonna be decent. It's always that second drop or that third drop that's gonna be more banger that you wanna really spend your coins on. Again, there's a Brady coming. Will I, will I buy the Brady? No, but there's probably some guys who want Brady out there. Gonna be some pretty decent free agents. So I recommend you wait a little bit because. These guys weren't bad. I think a lot of these guys are good. I just I just didn't think that Clowney was worth picking up over a potential Lawrence Taylor. And remember, guys like Lawrence are still coming through Ultimate Legends, hopefully at some point. And there's so much potential. Someone should have made a Lawrence Taylor golden ticket. That would have been pretty awesome. But so much more potential. So many things I want to buy. But again, as long as you're buying endgame guys, though, you don't have to fret too much. Like if the guy, like I said, Joe Thune, as long as it maxes out to a 99 overall and you got him for a good value, be happy with it. You don't have to get the best thing. Like it doesn't have if like if the next level card's a little bit better, but they're both 99. Whatever, you get a 99 overall card, he's golden, he's locked into your team, forget it. I'm talking about as far as quarterback, so that's where I like to spend my extra. And there's going the GT quarterback is coming. Now, who's gonna be the cheapest out of the three? Probably <sighs> it depends. RG3 or Cam Newton probably be the cheapest because they probably won't be the best ones. But again, Lamar also could take a hit because if he's not that much better than his 98, people might prefer just about 98. It really just depends. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the bulk of this video. To wrap it all up, guys. As far as free and Ultimate legends go. Check out for agency part two in terms of spending coins. As far as Ultimate Legends go, we're at 98 overalls now. So I'm not I'm not too concerned about buying the next best thing. I was more concerned when it was like 96, 96, 97. Those cards weren't exactly end game. But the 98s, they're all gonna be potentially end game if it's a good value. But if it's like a 700k 98 overall, do not buy it. Just wait a little bit. Lawrence Taylor, even him will come down at some point. But definitely save your coins to golden tickets. And once those come out, if you if you truly just you get your one, then buy whatever you want. Everything after that's end game. 
but I definitely want to wait for golden tickets because I already know I'm gonna want one of those quarterbacks and I don't feel like doing something stupid with my team to get it just save my coins now preserve them now you guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you're new to the channel make sure you're going below hit that subscribe button turn that notification boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up it helps the channel out tremendously and comment down below if you have any questions I'm out see you guys next video peace